As students train to become medical professionals, hands-on experience is crucial, but they won't come across every scenario possible. That's where simulation comes in. Channel 8's Brianna Campbell has tonight's second Sunday health report. It looks like any other mannequin, but these simulators blink, breathe, and talk. I want an epidural. Like a real patient. We can create a scenario so that they understand what medications, what assessments need to be done, who you need to call, when you need to call someone. Barbara Sittner oversees the simulation center at Bryan Health. In its new home at the Bryan East campus, the center provides students with hands-on experience without the risk. It's just a really safe place for us to go and see scenarios that we may not be able to see on the floor or during an everyday clinical. Students like Samantha, who is in her last year of school. The mannequins can do almost anything a real patient can, with students being able to dress wounds, set up an IV, even deliver a baby. Samantha says that type of experience has helped her feel more than ready to enter the field. I can go into the hospital saying, hey, we just did this sim scenario the other day. I know exactly what to do. And that's the type of attitude this program is trying to instill. It helps build their confidence. Research has shown that simulation does have an impact on their confidence. The simulations aren't only for practicing skills. They also get the students talking. It promotes teamwork and collaboration, and that's what we really need out in the healthcare environment is for everyone to work together. And it's not just students who get this opportunity. The mannequins are used to train incoming nurses and travel around the state for educational purposes. The program is on track with national and even global trends and plans to keep expanding, like with this new facility at Bryan East, something everyone is excited about. I can't wait to see what happens and what comes to Bryan. We're always trying to grow and, you know, expand our horizons. In Lincoln, Brianna Campbell, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.